Hey guys, we are talking transformations today, which is different ways that shapes can move around the coordinate plane. Now in this video, we are talking specifically about rotations. If you need a different type of transformation, I will link a playlist for you in the corner. Okay, so in this video, we are gonna talk about three different ways that we can figure out how to do a rotation. So in this one, this first example, we are going to use these rules, I will call them, all right? In the next two examples, we're gonna do it differently and it'll help us understand where these rules came from that someone didn't just make them up, right? <laughs> so when we are doing a rotation, you will be told oftentimes how many degrees it is rotating and whether it is rotating clockwise or counterclockwise. Now, obviously this is not the only way a shape can rotate, but this is the ones we are focusing on right now. So this shape is rotating 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. So when we rotate 90 degrees clockwise, we are going to take whatever our original point is on our original shape, we will find all of those, and we are just going to change it. We are going to switch the X and Y and change X's sign. So I'm just gonna write that right here to help me remember that, okay? So next thing I'm going to do is figure out what all these ordered pairs are. So this guy right here is two, seven. Then this one is six, five. Then we have five, seven. And this last one is going to be eight, nine. Now it doesn't matter what order you did those in. That's just the order I picked. All right. Now what I'm going to do is switch them and change X's sign. So the point for my rotated shape is going to be seven, negative two, okay? Then I'm going to switch them again, put Y first and change X's sign. So it's a negative six. I'm going to switch these and make X negative and switch these and make X negative. Again, if you're like, that seems really dumb, why can you do that? Stick around for the next two examples where it'll hopefully help you understand why we can do that. Okay, so now I'm going to plot these points. So seven, negative two, five, negative six, seven, negative five, and nine, negative eight. Then I'm going to connect the dots. And there we go. Does that look like I took that shape and rotated it 90 degrees about the origin? I think it looks pretty good. Oh, clockwise, I should have mentioned that as well. There we go, there is that one. Okay, but there are other ways we can do this that we are going to look at next. So here is this one. For this one, I am going to use, oh, sorry. I'm going to use parchment paper. This is legit like paper that I grabbed from my kitchen that you can use when you make cookies or whatever, right? The reason we wanna use it is because look, it's nice and see-through. So what I'm going to do is I am going to trace this shape and also, I want to make note of where my ax axis is, axi, I don't know, axis are, there you go. So <laughs> I'm marking those, and now I'm going to mark the triangle. Okay, there we go. Now we are rotating again. 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. This is why I wanted to mark this so I can tell when I've gone 90 degrees, right? So to go 90 degrees, I am going clockwise. I'm gonna go this way and have it line up just like that. Now I'm gonna write down the ordered pairs so then I can mark where the triangle goes. So, 
Oh, here we go. This point is going to be three, two. Okay, so there are those points, and now I'm going to graph them. All right, there we go. See how I took that where the original one was? We rotated it 90 degrees clockwise, and that is where it ended up. Now, just to help us understand these rules that we did on the last one, I'm going to quickly write down what these ordered pairs were for this triangle. Okay, so the purple is my original points, right? And the blue is my rotated points. And you'll notice that just like our rule states here, when I physically rotated it, right? We actually saw that rotation. These are the new points I got. And if we compare those to the original, you'll notice that they switched spots and the X, the original X changed its sign, okay? So someone did this a million times probably and then realized, oh my gosh, this relationship happens every time we rotate 90 degrees clockwise and there are these other patterns when we do it the other way. So that is where these rules came from. If someone did it so many times, I started to realize, oh, guess what? There's a quicker way to figure this out. Okay. <laughs> All right. There is another way that we can do it as well. For this way, I am just going to quickly figure out what these ordered pairs are for each of these points. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is instead of trying to turn the shape, I'm actually going to turn the plane, okay? So when I think about this, again, if I'm going 90 degrees clockwise about the origin, I know my shape is going to end up in this quadrant, right? So what I'm going to do instead of trying to rotate my shape, I'm going to rotate the plane like this we're getting crazy here and i am going to now pretend for a second that this is the x-axis this is the y-axis and i'm just putting this shape here with these points does that make sense so i'm pretending that this is quadrant one two three four even though that's not really the case, but I'm rotating that instead of the shape. So I get negative four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, sorry, down one, two, three. There we go. And then I'm going to connect those dots. There we go. So now I'm going to turn it back. And doesn't that look like I rotated it just like that? Now I could also quickly figure out these coordinates here. Okay, so again, when I look at these points, I see that their relationship matches this rule here. Okay. Pretty awesome. Another thing I can always do is to use more parchment paper to just double check. All right. So I went ahead and traced that. We are going 90 degrees about the origin. And that lines up pretty nicely. Okay, awesome. So we went over three different ways. I will also link a playlist if you want to see more examples. All right, thanks. Bye.